We are down to the final four of our high school football top 10 countdown and at number four it's the North Schuylkill Spartans. This is a group that fell just short of a third straight district title but have an offense that can play deep into November once again this fall. Number four, the North Schuylkill Spartans. Go. We have a completely different mentality this year. I think it's a lot more business and a lot uh, we're a lot tougher this year. Football is underway and North Schuylkill is trying to get business booming in Ashland. After a 10 and 3 season, the Spartans are back looking for another 10 win year. We always have a goal we want to win the state championship and there's a lot that needs to go into making that goal a reality. After winning the last two District 11 3A titles, the Spartans fell short of a three-peat losing in the title game last year, but head coach Wally Hall is more confident his team can be back at the top. Yeah, we, we definitely started the summer off differently and you could just tell by the kids' actions and you know everything they're doing. and. You know, the leadership's been great. This will be the most deep team in recent years, a stacked offense with most of their skill positions starting the last three years, including all-state wide receiver Joey Flail. The Spartans say the chemistry is going to contribute to their success. We all have a great attitude how it goes. We all know what needs to be done, and that's going to help us when we have experience in tight games. The experience that we have together is going to be the big factor this year. Um, we could always rely on each other and we have, very, we have a very explosive offense this year. When the Spartans are on offense, all the eyes are going to be focused in on Joey Flail. But when you have weapons returning like running back Jackson Chawanski and quarterback Trevor Minolda, they'll be looking to spread the wealth down here in Ashland. You know, with all the attention that's to Joey, and he's certainly going to make his plays, um, there's a cast of uh, other offensive players that are, are really good. Second and third string could be starters at a lot of places. And the Spartans have their goal of winning a state title, but it's going to start week one with a battle against Mount Carmel, and they say that sets the tone for the season. First game jitters really comes out and shows about who's ready, who's not. So it's fun seeing, uh, fun playing against someone that's good and just getting ready. Reporting in Ashland, Brett Alper, 28-22 Sports.